Hey there, money savvy viewers. Welcome back to Road to Alpha. This is Road to Alpha, and today, we're diving into a financial strategy that can truly transform your budgeting game. We're talking about the 50 30 20 rule, a straightforward approach to managing your money that can help you achieve your financial goals. So, let's get started. The 50 30 20 rule, your path to financial balance. The 50 30 20 rule is all about finding that sweet spot between managing your essential expenses, enjoying life's pleasures, and securing your financial future. It's a budgeting guideline that breaks down your after tax income into three key categories. 1. Needs, 50%. First up, we have needs. These are your non negotiable expenses, like rent or mortgage payments, utilities, groceries, transportation, and even minimum debt payments. They make up about 50% of your income. Two, wants, 30%. Now, let's talk about the fun stuff, wants. This category covers those things that enhance your lifestyle and bring you joy but aren't essential. Think dining out, entertainment, travel, hobbies, and more. It's recommended to allocate around 30% of your income here. 3. Savings and debt repayment, 20%. And last but definitely not least, we have savings and debt repayment. This category sets you up for financial success by helping you save for the future and pay down debt faster. Aim to allocate 20% of your income here. Real life example. So, how does this actually work in real life? Let's say your monthly income after taxes is $3,000. Needs, you'll budget $1,500, 50%, for essentials like rent, utilities, and groceries. Wants, you'll set aside $900, 30%, for those dinners out, streaming services, and weekend getaways. Savings and debt repayment. Finally, you'll allocate $600, 20%, towards savings, investments, and paying off that credit card debt. Benefits and flexibility. The beauty of the 50 30 20 rule is its flexibility. It's a great starting point for budgeting, but you can tweak the percentages to fit your unique situation. Maybe you need to focus more on debt repayment or have a higher savings goal, that's okay. Closing thoughts. So there you have it, folks, the 50 30 20 rule, your key to financial balance and peace of mind. By following this simple guideline, you can take control of your money, prioritize what truly matters, and pave the way for a brighter financial future. Don't forget to hit that like button, Subscribe for more financial tips, and remember, budgeting doesn't have to be daunting. With the 50 30 20 rule, you've got the tools to make it work for you. Stay financially savvy, and I'll catch you in the next video.